I created a practice config, making use of custom radio wheel commands and the new map guide feature. It supports all maps with over 1,000 lineups for you to try in game. When using custom map guides the normal way, there is a limit of how many annotations you can load at the same time. Upon asking for help on my Discord, Lighty, who also found the multi-input bypass a few months ago, went over and beyond and created a chunk detection system. His config checks for the player's position and loads annotation files of the current chunk, as well as from the eight neighboring grid boxes. This ensures to always have annotations around while unloading those further away, so we never reach the limit. Massive thanks to Lighty. I updated the CSA Fab config package to include the new practice mode. Here's how it works. Launch any map in practice mode and select infinite warmup to skip the intro cutscene. After installing the config package, which is described later in this video, we have three new keybinds assigned. Press the map key, by default it is bound to M, hover over enable practice mode and press M again to select it. The game will restart and you will find lots of lineups to try. They are color-coded with yellow for T-side, blue for CT-side, pink for instant smokes, and greenish colors for lineups, which I consider essential. At the very minimum, you should know the green ones to play on a decent level. Using the second keybind, by default J, gives you quick access to practice commands like no clip, rethrow last grenade, and other features you might find useful. You can delete missed smokes, zoom in to find precise lineups, show wallbang damage and impacts, and visualize the accuracy of your guns. This might explain why long-range spraying is a bad idea, or why you missed your scout shot on Dust 2. As on this range, the enemy's head is smaller than the area the bullet can go to, due to inaccuracy. This is also where you can quickly toggle the map guide on and off, in case it ever becomes too cluttered. Scrolling your mouse wheel while the radio menu is open will reveal even more options. There are a few fun ones like high FOV, or changing to any knife and setting it on fire. Finally, the third keybind, by default H, allows you to teleport to any spawn point. Here, you can practice instant smokes or check for contact timings. Using the map wheel again lets you change the map instantly or disable the practice mode, which will reset the radio wheels to older features of my config package. These are also working on any public servers and include automatic lineups, jump throw binds, and snap tap input. I've spent hundreds of hours on this project, so you can use these features absolutely for free where other services charge you monthly for similar ones. As a little challenge for you, I've hidden one secret letter on each of the nine supported maps. The first one to put the code word together and comment it under this video wins a free demo analysis by me and a handful of sticker capsules from previous major tournaments. Installing the CSA FAP config package is simple, but requires a few steps. First, download the files from the first link in the description. Unpack the CSA FAP folder and save it in the CFG directory. Now inside, copy the folder called CSGO, navigate back to the subdirectory called game and paste it here. This will place the necessary annotation and language files at correct paths. Head back to the CSA FAP folder and open main.cfg with an editor of your choice. If you're here only for the practice mode, you only need to assign the first three binds. Use double slashes at the start of the other lines for them to be ignored by the game. Importantly, make sure to keep the very last line. Lastly, let's execute the configs at game launch. You can either use this launch option in Steam or run the config inside your auto exec. If you're interested in even more practice tools, you can check out the practice GUI config made by Sneaky Beaky Man. He created a fully functional user interface within the console, which supports many useful practice commands. Keep an eye on my Discord, where I will post about future updates to the CSA FAP config package as I will add new meta lineups. You can also share your tricks in the ideas channel for your lineups to be featured in the config. Thanks for being part of the CSA FAP community and best of luck on the scavenger hunt.